I'm Candace. And I'm Jacqueline. Welcome to Aisle by Aisle. We're taking a trip through the grocery store to share a few tips we've learned about making healthier food and drink choices. In this segment, we're talking about frozen desserts. I really think it's impossible to avoid giving yourself a treat once in a while, but the frozen dessert section of a store can be a minefield. Too true. Did you know that some of these frozen desserts can have up to 10 grams of saturated fat? That's as much artery-clogging fat as a Whopper or a Big Mac. A cup of regular ice cream, up to 10 grams of saturated fat. Some premium brands, up to 20. That's why pretty much anything but low-fat or fat-free ice cream is a major splurge. And that's if you eat just half a cup. Who can do that? Which means you can at least double the numbers you see on the package. Now, that doesn't mean go crazy with fat-free desserts. They have calories too, mostly from sugar. But all is not lost. There are some treats that are better than others that you can have on occasion, especially the ones that are individually packaged and therefore portion controlled. Check out the nutrition facts label and look for desserts that have 150 calories or fewer or two grams of saturated fat or less. A good choice is fruit sorbet or mini ice cream bars. Yeah, and if you're looking to get the most bang for your calorie, check out mini ice pops or fudge sickles. Some of them have as few as 50 calories a piece. Does that mean I get two? Sure. <laughs> Sorbet is a good option, as is sherbet, but once again, not all treats are created equal, so be sure you check the label. The ingredient list is the most important place to check. You want things like skim milk, fruit, and of course sugar. It is a dessert after all. But in general, a good rule of thumb, pick things you can pronounce. In the end, it's best to avoid desserts like this on a regular basis and make it a special treat. We hope this trip through the grocery store was informative for you. It was for us. To find out more, to get recipes, or to download the tip sheet for this segment, visit www.myeatsmartmovemore.com. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Candace. Thank you for joining us for Isle by Isle.